All right, guys and girls, so last night I had a bit of an idea and uh, I decided that the uh, quality of some of my videos, especially in the evening time, isn't particularly great. So what I wanted to do was make a lighting system that I could use with my iPhone. Woo! <laughs> which has got batteries in it, a row of LEDs around the outside, some kind of a switch. So uh, yeah, I came up with this a weird and wonderful plan. Um, and here it is. Uh, no, it's not. So um, this was originally another project. It was gonna be, uh, it's gonna have some speakers in it, but uh, right, anyway, so there's the outline of the iPhone. Here's the batteries, we've whacked the batteries in there. There's a switch over here, there's the switch, another missile switch, and this stuff, which is marvelous. So, the tape, uh, LEDs on tape. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna whack some of that on it and see how we do. All right, so here it is uh, with the centerpiece uh, now cut away. Used a large uh, hole saw and a jigsaw for that. The question is, does the iPhone fit in here? Let's have a look. Okay, so I've cut out a few pieces of wood um, to make effectively a little slot uh, so that the iPhone can slot into that place. And uh, a couple more pieces of wood, the pieces of wood that you can see through the little window there, through the square window. Um, and those will be used to clip things in place at the top once you've got the iPhone slotted into the bottom. Um, so yeah, we'll continue on and see how we do. Righto, so here it is. Uh, getting glued in place. I was going to use the G-clamp, but um, to be fair, I think that G-clamp might be a little bit overkill for what we're trying to achieve here. So, um, right, give that a bit of time to uh, to glue up and uh, yeah, and then we'll get the top bit sorted out. So remember this, is that now starting to look a little bit like it? Yeah, I hope so. Um, so the interesting thing, uh, the, the wood surface, even though um, the backing tape on this LED set is uh, 3M, uh, it still didn't want to stick very well to the, uh, to the wood surface. surface. So what I did is uh, I went ahead and I sponged on a little bit of the, uh, of the uh, uh, wood glue and a little bit of water just to create a slight stickiness and um, a little bit of... Uh, a damp hold off but uh, now everything appears to have stuck down nicely so uh, the next job is to start getting things wired up uh, don't ask me how many LEDs are on this thing but uh, quite a few all right it's time to start work again uh, now these seem to be uh, fixed in place quite well so we have the Silverline uh, USB powered soldering iron and uh, there's a little USB a battery set over there some red and black wire my honey's best kitchen scissors, she will marmalize me, uh, some solder and a lovely little open all knife. Wish me luck. Okay, ladies and gents, this thing is too bright. Uh, oof, boom, there she goes, oops. Um, basically, I think I'm gonna have to put uh, some kind of um, a power limiting resistor in there. It's uh, absolutely evil. So with uh, 78 LEDs in this thing, it, uh, it occurred to me that um, we should probably uh, find out what kind of current this thing draws. Uh, 380 milliamps. So 380 milliamps, and I think the batteries are rated at about 2000 milliamp hours, uh, all in series. So yeah, amazingly, that'll last over four hours. Uh, or around four hours. That's um, more than enough uh, to do a few videos, isn't it? Before the next recharge. Awesome. All right, so I've had an absolute hot glue extravaganza. So all the way down the sides, I have put little blobs of hot glue, which you can see here, alongside each LED in the middle of the strip and on the other side of each strip as well. To hold everything in place that's gone all the way around including the triple strip up here so you can see the hot glue running parallel to all of those LEDs 
um, the hole where the cables come in has been hot glued. I've also drilled um, a few holes in it so that I can suspend it potentially, hang it up. Uh, on the back now we have some CGR 18650s uh, which are lithium ion cells uh, 4.2, well 3.7, 3.6, 4.2 volts all nailed, nailed down with the hot glue gun uh, cables are running around the problem that I've got is I don't have any switches great news I found this in my junk pile so time to bust that apart and nick the switches out of it it's useless anyway all right great news and that's her done uh, switches in place batteries are in place everything's wired up everything's hot glued in uh, all the lights are in place i guess what we need to do now is go uh, give her a try okay so it's uh, dusk time and um, here's the weighing scales that you may have seen in my cupcake making uh, video. Boom. Oh, yes. And it sort of eliminates shadows to a certain extent. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so we're outside in the garden, one of my favorite places to be. It's still a little bit light outside, but let's see if this helps. Oh, yes. Look at that. All right, and let's get in there. Oh, just magnificent. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 